mean to plug my Instagram, but like, go follow it, please. I just did 2,000 followers. Yo, what's up guys, it is Offensive Seahawks fan back with another video, and today I'm giving you my top 10 current NFL wide receivers. Honorable mention, Debo Samuel, DK Metcalf, Calvin Ridley, and probably a bunch of others that I should name but aren't, are not going to be on this list. And this is opinion based, so I don't care if you disagree. Number 10, we got C.D. Lamb from the Dallas Cowboys. Since being a first round pick in 2020, Lamb has established himself as one of the game's best. The former Oklahoma star has posted consecutive 1,000 yard seasons while totaling 15 touchdowns over that span. As a two time pro bowler and second team all pro, Lamb gives the Cowboys an elite deep threat who also runs a quality route tree. The 24-year-old is just entering his prime and is hoping for a career year as he waits for an extension from Dallas. Number 9, we got Terry McLaurin from the Washington Commanders. Has anyone done more with less over the past four years than McLaurin? In Washington, the 27-year-old has mostly caught passes from Carson Wentz, Taylor Heineke, Dwayne Haskins, etc. Still, he's posted three straight 1,000-yard seasons, earning his first Pro Bowl last year. Now with Sam Howell, or I'm pretty sure Jacoby Brissett, McLaurin may once again have to evaluate his quarterback while drawing every defensive coordinator's toughest assignment. If the first four seasons of his career are an indication, he shouldn't have a single issue. Number 8, Cooper Cup from the Los Angeles Rams. After leading the NFL in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns in the Rams championship season of 2021, Cup was expected to do big things in 2022. Unfortunately, injuries limited him to only 9 games. Once again healthy, the Rams need Cup to be at his all-pro best if Los Angeles is going to even contend for anything this year. While he's only had one single season 1,000 yard receiving season, few receivers are better route runners or a tougher cover than Cooper Cup. Number 7, Jalen Waddle of the Miami Dolphins. Waddle is the only receiver on this list who benefits from being the second target on his team, which means almost never drawing double coverage. The Dolphins star dominated last year with Tyree Kill opposite from him, catching 75 passes for 1,356 yards with 8 touchdowns. Entering his third season, Waddle's numbers could continue to increase if quarterback Tua Tagalavoa can avoid the injury bug or concussion. Same thing. The former first round pick from Alabama led the league last season with 18.1 yards per reception. Number 6, A.J. Brown from the Philadelphia Eagles. After posting two 1,000-yard campaigns in three years with the run-heavy Tennessee Titans, Brown was surprisingly traded to the Philadelphia Eagles during the 2022 NFL Draft and became one of the league's most dominant from the past season. In 2022, Brown went for 88 catches, 1,496 yards, and 11 touchdowns to earn second-team All-Pro honors. One of the NFL's most premier deep threats from the past year. He combines elite size at 6 foot 1 and 226 pounds with 449 speed paired with quarterback Jalen Hurts and fellow wideout Devontae Smith. Brown has the perfect setup in Philadelphia. Number 5, Stephon Diggs, Buffalo Bills. Few players at any position have been more dominant than Stephon Diggs over the past five seasons, spending his first two with the Vikings before being traded to the Buffalo Bills. Diggs has totaled five straight 1,000-yard seasons while making three Pro Bowl trips and earning All-Pro honors twice. Last year, Diggs caught 108 passes for 1,429 yards, 11 touchdowns, for the Bills, despite not having a consistent threat on the other side to draw coverage. He's the total package for a wideout, one that's able to stretch the field while also serving as a dominant third down talent. Number 4, Jamar Chase, Cincinnati Bengals. 
there's a legitimate chance that Chase eventually goes down as one of the best, if not the best receiver to ever play in Cincinnati through two seasons. He's been quarterback Joe Burrow's favorite target, totaling 2,501 receiving yards and 22 touchdowns. Already a two-time Pro Bowler, Chase is among the league's best at high-pointing the ball while also showcasing elusiveness in the open field. At 6'1", 200 pounds, Chase has good size but plays bigger, giving Burrow a deep target even in tight or double coverage. Number 3, Devontae Adams, Las Vegas Raiders. It's hard to find a more consistently dominant receiver than Adams. After leaving Green Bay in a trade last offseason, many expected his numbers to dip going down from Aaron Rodgers to Derek Carr. Instead, Adams authorized another All-Pro season totaling 100 catches, 1,516 yards, and a league-high 14 receiving touchdowns. Even without elite quarterback play, Adams ranked third with 24 receptions of 20-plus yards and 10th in yards per catch with 15.2. This season, Adams will have another new signal caller to work with. Will it be Jimmy Garoppolo, Brian Hoyer, Aiden O'Connell? Whoever it's going to be, his numbers are still going to be the same because he is Devontae Adams. Number 2, Tyree Kill, Miami Dolphins. Hill absolutely has a case to be number 1 on this list. After being dealt from the Chiefs to the Dolphins last offseason, the former 5th round pick posted his 7th consecutive Pro Bowl season while earning first team All-Pro honors for the 4th time. In his first season with Miami, he caught 119 passes for 1,710 yards with 7 touchdowns. He finished 2nd in the NFL with 25 catches of 20 plus yards. Many try to guard him. There's nobody more terrifying for defenders than Hill with the ball in his hands. It's literally impossible to cover him. You look for one second, boom, he is gone. 50 yards downfield scoring touchdowns. And finally, number one, you guessed it, Justin Jefferson, Minnesota Vikings. Jefferson is the best at his craft. Only three seasons into his career, Jefferson has never failed to make both the Pro Bowl and an All-Pro team in each. Last year, the LSU product caught 128 passes for 1,809 yards, was leading the NFL in both categories while being named the Offensive Player of the Year. When Jefferson gets a new contract, it would be stunning if the contract isn't the largest wide receiver contract in the history of the NFL. Jefferson is a good bet to shatter a few records during his career and perhaps become the first receiver to crack the 2,000 yard barrier in a single season. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!